Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about QUIC. So let's start with this. Before starting, if you, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Okay. So now let's start with this. What is QUIC? Quick UDP Internet Connection. Okay. So QUIC is an experimental protocol created by search engine giant Google and introduced to the public in 2013. Okay. So the name stands for quick UDP internet connections, which is due to the fact that it allows the fast and easy searching of simple packets over the connection less user datagram protocol that is UDP. Okay. The reason for developing QUIC was a desire to provide an alternative to the established security solution that is TCP HTTP slash 2 and TLS slash SSL by developing the same protection but with a reduced connection and transport delay and allowing multiplexing connections. Google has designed QUIC like this so that the protocol itself controls the connection. During the first handshake between sender and receiver, they exchange the certificates and key needed to encrypt the same sent datagrams. Later, communication eliminates this exchange, which minimizes latency. It means that at the first uh, data transmission, it establishes the connection. The encryption protocol is the current is speed optimized TLS version 1.3 which is preferred over the in-house crypto solution. When it comes to multiplexing, the QUIC protocol follows the Google developed SPDY protocol which provide the template for HTTP 2, a single client server connection which can be used to transmit several different data streams reducing load time significantly. So today now we are going to discuss about the QUIC advantages. The first advantage is fast connection. Then let's see how this is providing the fast connection. So the main aspect of performance that gives QUIC an advantage over TCP is that the connection setup is much faster. Even without encryption by SSL and TS TLS, a connection using the traditional transport protocol with the three-way handshake takes most step than the UDP based Google solution. QUIC will start a connection with a single packet or two packet if it is a first connection and will even transmit all necessary TLS or HTTP packets. Here you can see that in this line it mentioned that a single packet or two packets if it is a first connection. If there is a previous connection established and closed then if you if you trying to re-establish the connection then you need only a single packet and if you have not connected to that before this time then you definitely need two packets okay so now move to the second advantage that is multiplex connections options tcp uses the tcp ports and ip addresses of connected systems to identify a connection because of this it is not possible for a client to communicate with the server over multiple ports in a single connection. The QUIC protocols solve the situation in a different way. It uses 64-bit connection detection and various streams to transport data within a connection. Therefore, QUIC connection is not necessarily bounded to a specific port and IP addresses or a specific endpoint. In this, you can clearly see the difference between the TCP and QUIC. In TCP, there is a desired port that is a predefined port. In these ports, you need to uh, make the connection. But QUIC remove that foundation. In this, it, it can be different. Okay. So next is assignment of unique sequence number. Each data segment of a QUIC connection receives its own sequence number regardless of whether it is a or original or a forwarded segment. Now the next advantage is forward error correction. In this, lost packet do not present a big problem when trans transporting data over QUIC. It uses XOR based error correction system. 
it is not necessary to resubmit the corresponding data and this is the main advantage because in this these can be constructed at any time using fec forward error correction packages backups of the original package for a data group however error correction does not work in several packages from a data group are missing if there are several packets are missing then this reconstruction is not possible so let's move to the next advantage that is overload control that is packet packing in this tcp always try to send data as fast as possible which is an advantage in terms of having a fast data connection but is also associated with a certain loss rate if a packet is lost the retransmission tcp fast retransmit it in spread quickly now next advantage is authentication and encryption safety has been a key aspect in the planning and design of quic right from the very beginning now the next one is hardware independency so another major advantage of quic over tcp is that the google protocol is detached from the system it means that it can be run on any hardware configuration you don't need to be dependent on this hardware so that's it for the today's video i hope you have understood what whatever i have explained and thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and for more videos please check my playlist and please give your feedback in comment thanks